Hey, what's up everybody? It's Frank again and welcome back to my channel 16 bits or higher. On today's video, I'm going to do the follow up to the video that I did for the R36 uh, Max a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to show you how I was able to install uh, the ArcOS operating system on it. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's only a few steps that you got to take and it actually makes the device feel um, easier to use. Uh, if you're used to using an R36S, it will feel just like it. The only thing is this device does have a, a bigger screen, a four inch screen, uh, one to one ratio. So it does look a little better, especially for the games that are meant to be played on screens that are square. Um, so it does, it does feel a little better. And like I said, the process is very simple. Now I'm still having the same issue that I was having before with the, uh, D-pad and also with the uh, face buttons where when you're pushing on the D-pad, if you want to go to the left or to the right, uh, it will get stuck and you have to press the buttons a little harder. Same thing with the A and B buttons. Whenever you're in the middle of a game, if you're trying to push the A or, a or B buttons, uh, they will become a little stiff and they won't react. So you have to push harder on the buttons. Um, I opened it up. I try to fix the membranes inside because it does have membranes. Uh, underneath the buttons, but no matter what I try to do, I wasn't able to fix it. So I'm still having the same issues. But if you're um, wanting to overlook that and you just want to get a device, you can actually install Arc OS on it and it actually works really well. So let me show you what I did to it and I hope you enjoy the video. The process of installing Arc OS on the R36 Max is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is go to the uh, Mirahasi homepage, which would actually be this one here. When you get to that homepage, and I will have links in the description, when you get to the homepage, you have to go to all handhelds, and then we just have to search for the R36 Max. Click on that. And when we get to this page here, uh, towards the bottom, you're going to see that it shows stock ArcOS and community maintained image of ArcOS. So the one that I installed is that community maintained image. So we're going to download that one. But before we do that, we're also going to need two other files that we need to download. And those files are going to be 7-zip. Okay. So we're going to download the 64-bit version. And I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. There it is. So I'm going to hit cancel on that. And the other file we need to download is Rufus, which is going to be the program that's going to allow us to flash the, uh, the micro SD card. So for this, we have to scroll down. And when you get to the download section, we're going to download one of those files. It depends on what you like, but what I'm going to download is going to be the portable one. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to download it to my downloads. Click on save. And it didn't take long. It's already there. Okay. So now we are going to go back to the Mirahasi website and we're going to click on community maintained image. And it's going to take us to this uh, section here. I'm going to recommend that you guys go through the page because it gives you a lot of good information about the device. Actually, this Mirahasi website has information on uh, on tons of devices, uh, tons of handhelds, not just this one. So I'm going to recommend when you get to this web page, just browse through it. But we're going to download this one here, which is the community maintained image. And... Let's see, we're going to go to, we're going to get to this page here and click on six releases. And the one we are downloading is going to be the one that says R36 Max. Okay. It's a pretty big file, so it may take a while for it to download. It's 1.87 gigabytes. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to save it to downloads as well. And 
And for now, I'm going to pause the video because it's telling me that it's going to take about 17 minutes to download. I'm pretty far from my uh, router, so that's the reason why it's taking a little long. But um, I'm going to pause the video. And what I'll do is I'll connect to my cell phone to use the Wi-Fi from my cell phone and see if it'll take a little bit shorter of a time. So I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, so we finished downloading. So the next step that we're gonna take right now is gonna we're gonna go to the folder where you downloaded the uh, ArcOS file. So let me open that up. And let me drag that in here. And there it is. It's in a zip format. Okay, so what we have to do first, even though this doesn't show it here, the extension right now is going to be an XZ file, which is a zip format. What we have to do is we have to unzip it first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm just going to call it new folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it into that folder. And I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip it. Okay. And there we go. The reason why I'm doing that is because when you try to uh, flash the the image file with Rufus, if it's not if it's not in on the correct format, which should be an IMG dot file, it will not burn it properly, and you can have issues. You can try to do it, but from experience, if I don't unzip it first so that it's on an image format, it will give me issues. So right now, there it is. the The file has been uh, has been uh, extracted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it over to downloads so that it's easier to find. Okay, and there's the file and I'm gonna delete the zip file that I just downloaded. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I already have my micro SD card inserted in my computer right there. You can see that it's empty. I, re I reformat it. And I'm going to use Rufus to burn the image onto that SD card. Okay. And I'm going to run Rufus right there. And let's click no right now. And there it is. Okay. We got Rufus running. And what we want to do is we want to select a file. And the file we're going to use is this one. Click on open. And we're not changing anything on this. It's automatically going to choose what it needs. And then we just start. If your micro SD card had stuff in it, it's going to get all deleted. So make sure that you don't have nothing in that micro SD that you don't mind losing. OK, because uh, when you when you uh, do this process here, everything in the micro SD card will be deleted. And it is writing the image right now. Again, this may take a while, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, it finished. It's showing ready. And what you're going to do now is you're going to hit close. Okay, this means that you're card is ready and all you gotta do is just take it out of your computer and insert it into your device and let's go ahead and do that okay so here we have the bad boy the r36 max something i neglected to mention last time was that when i got this device this device actually comes with only one micro SD card, but it was actually inserted 
in the uh, second slot, slot number two. Okay, and the reason why that was, the reason why that was, and why I was a little confused, is because the operating system, the stock operating system that comes in this unit, is actually installed inside the unit. That's the reason why it only had a card on the slot two because on slot two it only had games and any any uh, save data, BIOS files, everything that was game related was actually installed on the second the second slot, and this one was empty because the operating system is actually installed inside the unit. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna install ArcOS, but because ArcOS needs to be installed on the uh, SD card, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the, uh, here's the card that I use for this particular operation. And it's actually an on card that is kind of like a Walmart brand. Okay, it's work on a lot of my devices, so I do recommend you use it. It works really well. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert it into slot number one, not in slot number two, but number one. Okay. And right now, when it turns on, it should start flashing Arc OS. And let's see what happens. And there it is. It's flashing Arc OS onto the device. And there we have it. We have ArcOS loaded on the R36 Max. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to transfer all of my games into this one card. So I'm going to have to take it out of the take it out of the unit, put it back on my computer and copy all the games but let me see if i can go into the settings and under display settings and info uh, well it's not that one uh, if you read the bottom it's actually being recognized as a k36 but I tell you what as long as it works I'm okay with it and let's go to options see if it has the same options that the uh, R36 has and it looks like it pretty much does let me see At the bottom, you have the option of switching to uh, slot number two for ROMs. A gamma adjustment. Oh, that's pretty good, the gamma adjustment. Uh, we change password. Let me see, disable remote. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure if Wi-Fi is actually going to work on this. But I tell you what, since we're here already, might as well try it. Let me set it down while I get my Wi-Fi card. 
Okay, so here's my Wi-Fi dongle with a USB-C adapter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it onto the OTG port, which is right here. And I'm going to restart the unit. And we'll see if it actually gets recognized. Okay, so now we go back to options and we go all the way to Wi Fi. And we're gonna go to connect to new Wi Fi connection all the way to the top. And it should scan for Wi Fi signals. If it doesn't scan for Wi Fi signals, that means that it's not recognizing the dongle. And it actually did. That's fantastic. Let's actually use my iPhone for that. And okay, that's that's awesome because I didn't think it was gonna I didn't think it was gonna find it. So now that we are able to get onto the internet. I'm going to try to do something else, and that's going to be two. Okay, so it looks like Port Master is working. Okay, we're not gonna go through this right now. I just, I'm just happy to see that it works. I'm probably gonna make another video showing all the extra stuff that I'm able to do using Arc OS because using the Game Station um, operating system, I had a lot of issues. And this seems to be running at least similar to the Arc OS that's on the R36S. But I will try uh, doing another video sh uh, showing the uh, the stuff that we can do using ArcOS. So I think that's gonna be it for now. If you found this uh, video uh, informative, please hit the like button, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for other videos coming in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.